Hi there, my name is Jeff Graw. I'm the lead and sometimes presently mostly solo developer on Dominus Galaxia. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the game and why I think you should back it. Dominus Galaxia is a 4x based strategy game designed as a spiritual successor to the first Mass of Orion. Today the game is in beta and it's fully playable. To go along with the Kickstarter campaign, I'm releasing a fully, unrestricted, unredacted freeware build of the game to the public. While Dominus Galaxia obviously takes cues for Massive Orion, it's also its own thing. There are enhancements such as an infinite tech tree, improved colony management and diplomatic systems, as well as UX and UI improvements. There are also entirely new concepts like a two-stage ship designer with elements of crafting. DG has a number of optional features that players can use to customize their experience and which increase replayability. Some of these features radically alter the feel of the game. For example, users can choose whether they want stars to be connected via star lanes. I think our star lane implementation is pretty good, but this subject is one that holy wars have been fought over. For myself, I'm not exactly sure which mode I like better, so I play with both. You can also mod the game. Technologies, weapons, starting conditions, special devices, playable factions, and even some of the game mechanics are exposed in plain text files, tweakable with the text editor of your choice. Combat is turn-based, hex-based, and tactical. Encounters with more than two parties are supported, although this is pretty rare outside of the Team Deathmatch game mode. A fun feature in Dominus Galaxia is that combat can be auto-resolved at any point. You can auto-resolve at the start of the event, or in the middle of it, and all of the background events use the same logic as manually controlled instances. While combat is already pretty deep with a lot of cool features, I'm also planning on experimenting with more additions like firing arcs going forward. The core concept of Dominus Galaxia is AI liberation. Basically, AIs that play by the same rules as human players without any artificial constraints or advantages. The freeware build isn't quite there yet, and the AI still needs to catch up to some recent gameplay additions. But it's not too far off either. At the same time, I don't want computer players to seem stale or robotic. From a game design perspective, this means looking for the occasional free lunch where I can encourage AIs to operate in ways that make sense in-universe but that also are in their own best interests. I also plan to make the game multiplayer, although whether I can do this prior to version 1.0 is mostly a function of funding. DG already supports Hot Seat, so there's a good foundation there, but as a prerequisite for networking, I want to internally shift the game to a client-server approach. Basically, the server holds the true state of the game, which gets updated when all players have hit end turn. Combined with the work I've done on Hot Seat, this should make network multiplayer pretty straightforward. It should also let me kick the AIs off onto background threads, so that hopefully whenever the player does hit end turn all the AIs, they're already finished and everything just gets processed immediately. So why Kickstarter? Well, I need money for living expenses while I finish the game, and also, while Dominus Galaxia isn't exactly ugly, I'm not really satisfied with the presentation yet. I want the game to be oozing with style, and technically, you know, I could finish the game pretty soon since I'm in most ways just about done. It's very playable. But the truth is, I'm a terrible perfectionist. Just playable isn't enough for me. I've spent a lot of years developing the game, and frankly, I'd like to spend more. Now, that said, if the opportunity presents itself, I'd like to be working on this game for a long time after its release, like 5 to 10 years. But this is really dependent on sales, and I can't make any promises except to say that it's very important for me that I do right by my customers. Thanks for watching this far. I encourage you to read the project description where I go into much more detail with everything, and to check out the freeware build. I'll be updating it throughout the course of the campaign, and maybe for a while afterwards as well. So even if you aren't backing the project, I'd very much like to hear your feedback. Adios!